everyone, I'm Jason O'Dell, and um, I'm going to do a little Lightroom stuff today. And, and the trick I'm going to show you today is well, not a trick, but the tip I'm going to give out today is how to use your Lightroom catalog to do some scouting from a perspective of what should you bring on your next trip. Um, it's so easy to overpack. Um, which lenses do you want to bring? You might have a whole bunch of lenses. Not everyone's traveling with you know, one super zoom lens. So really what you want to do if you're tight on space is to consider packing the stuff that makes the most sense for the location that you're going. So what I like to do is I use the filter tools um, in Lightroom's library catalog to look at my older shots to see which focal lengths and lenses that I gravitate towards and that helps me put my kit together. So let's go over and take a look um, at Lightroom so I can show you how I do this. All right, so the way we're going to set this up is you want to go into your Lightroom catalog and get into the library module. And the first thing you should do is just choose images that you like. So you shouldn't, you shouldn't just choose all of your photos. You should just select uh, folders or collections where you filtered it down on you know, keepers. So for example, these images I've marked with pick flags or they're green. It's because I like these photos. These are my keepers from trips that I've taken over the past several years to Badlands National Park. So when clients ask me what lens should I bring or what focal length should I have on this trip, um, I can look at my photos and say, well, most of my keepers come with this range of focal length. So let's set that up. So I'm in the library module. I'm in the grid view. You can get to grid by pressing G on your keyboard. Or we'll just click down here for grid mode down bottom left. And then you should see the library filter appear up here at the, the top of the grid. And I'm just going to collapse one of these windows so we can see more stuff. Now, you have the default is no filter at all, but you see we've got text, attribute, and metadata. So what you want to do is click the tab or the item marked metadata. And we're going to get this filter come up. And it starts off with date or whatever. Don't worry about that. We're going to either add a column or just change a column. Um, so let's let's add a column. I'm going to go to the very right hand side here of the of the filter. And there's this little option, little checkbox, and I'm going to say add column. And it says none. Okay, so I have a new column that says none. Let's see what our choices are. And if we look here, you've got date, file type, all this stuff, right? So I want to choose focal length. And then you can choose all. And, and what this allows you to do is if you click one of these items, you can filter your images on, on these focal lengths. Now I could choose the lens, I could choose the ISO, but focal length really helps me here. And so what I can do is if I, let's say I want to look for wide shots. So anything sort of wider than, than 24 millimeters. So I can click 24 and shift click to get to 14. So this is everything here from 14 through 24 millimeters. This would be my super wide type, type of lens, but doesn't have to be. And then you can see that um, if I go down to the bottom of the frame and just expand the uh, thumbnails, it'll say 28 or 26 of 86 photos that I've got here that meet this criteria. 26 out of, out of 86, so I can write this down, 26. And I can do the same thing with other ranges. So I could say, well, what about things in the range between uh, 24 and uh, let's say 70 millimeters? That, that'll show me I've got 35 images. So, so already I've gone from, uh, you know, I've, I've already got over 50, uh, 60 images here in that full range between um, my super wide lens and uh, 24 to 70, for example. So if you see where these, where these images come in, you can also see I've got a fair number here from 200 millimeters, even a couple at 300 and 500, but not a whole lot in between that other range. So you can really take a look, filter through your images. You can see what kind of images you were taking with those lenses and say, okay, when I'm going on this trip, I can get by with maybe a 24 to 120 millimeter lens or a 24 to 70 plus maybe a super wide lens. And it helps you with your decision making, your packing, especially when you're trying to get on a plane, you need to go light. So until next time, I'm Jason O'Dell. Follow me at luminescentphoto.com and I'll see you next time.